Um, people. People, people. Come, come. Come, come. We are entering February 2021 and resolutions are nowhere to be found. Do we need to talk? Come talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. Yes, what's going on? Linda, 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 talk to me, talk to me. Question? What? 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 Que? Qua? Ababas? What? 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 What, girl? What? What are you waiting for? Welcome to Fully Fond. My name is Naila. I talk about self-love, self-care, and self-growth. All things self-improvement integrated with faith. Now, I want this video. So maybe you're wondering, is it too late? It's not. Out of all the things you could possibly do in this world, very little is limited to January alone. So you have time, plenty. And even if that were the case, even if you were a part of something or interested in something very seasonal and niche and exclusive, you can still prepare. You're not excluded. Everybody gets a chance. Everybody gets love. So because you're watching this video, I know that you're breathing. And if by chance you have stopped, please resume and or call 911 emergencies only. And do not tell them I sent you. Thank you. So because you are breathing, you are living. And because you are living, you are able, you are still capable to do. Presumably nothing major has happened since or between now and New Year's Eve. So you can still do. You can still act. And if I were you, I would take advantage of the opportunity while I can. Because we all know that life can change in an instant. Just like that. Okay, so you have time. And the best time is now. Obviously, whatever you had in your mind to do, it's still on your mind. That's why you're here. Because it's something you still desire, something that you value. And you should value it. If it's a worthwhile goal, you should know the why behind it. Why are you going after it? If you have not asked yourself already, ask yourself, will it make me a better person or challenge me for the better? Will it improve my health physically, emotionally, mentally, or otherwise? Will it fulfill some part in me? Will it, and this is the question of all questions, the supreme question, the grand question, will it enhance my life? Because if so, then it is very worthwhile and you should pursue it. So let's go ahead and address two things that need to change. The first being your mindset, because you know what? Defeatism, it's a real thing. Like it's a real thing thing yes we'll acknowledge that we messed up we can realize where we went wrong we might have fallen off more than once twice three times who's counting but we learn from that and we leave it in the past okay you can't stay there you can't i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i know but you can't stay there okay they're closed defeatism is closed and they're not opening up again they shut down for good so find a new store find somewhere else to shop secondly your plan of action, you know, the, the method you used previously, we're deading that because apparently it didn't work. And you know what? Sometimes you just have to do something new. You have to do something different. So, for example, I don't know if this applies to you, but get some accountability. Share what you're doing with a friend or family member. That way you can discuss it with them. And it's not necessarily to guilt you, but they're going to ask you about it. They're going to ask you, hey, how's that diet going? Hey, how's that uh, new Taekwondo class going? Whatever you're into. You'll have somebody to discuss it with, and you will also have some support. Now, maybe maybe your family and friends aren't that supportive. I don't know. Might need some new friends, at least. I don't, You can't change your family, but you might need some new friends. So find your community. Find your people. There is, I mean, with the internet, there is a place and a people for everybody and for everything. Don't be shy. Make friends. They're great. They're wonderful. Find someone you can go to a class with. If you want to learn how to knit, you can find your people. If you want a turtle watch, you can find your people. Find your people. Make friends. And that way you can encourage each other and you can kind of engage about it with the same level of passion for whatever it is you're going after. You know, be sociable. Also, set reminders. I don't know what you use. We're all different. I'm not sure what would be best for you. I'll say for me, I do little weird stuff like grab markers or anything that's just kind of random and I'll put it somewhere it does not belong. Because for me, when I walk past and I see it, I'm like, oh, why, why is that there? Oh, 
post office. Got to go to the post office. Again, we're all different. I know I'm different. It's okay. You got to do it works for you. Something else might be better for you, like using sticky notes or in, uh, I'll say post-its, same thing. Sticky notes, post-its, index cards, um, a photo of something that motivates you or someone who motivates you, your mom, dad, child, cousin, brother, dog, cat, fish, whatever, your pet turtle, <laughs> whatever. And then you have phones. I put stuff in my phone sometimes. Google Calendar, it's pretty, it's pretty nifty. I use that for reminders. Or a planner. This is not a planner. It's just a, a book that I, I write in, like notes and stuff. I mean, a lot of people swear by them. Whatever works for you. There are options. But the, the point is, do something different. I would also recommend that you have some actionable steps. Some that are progressive and that finish with a bang. And by a bang, I mean, you know, something substantial. Something you can't necessarily just walk away from. All right. Think of the toddler. You know how when you start to walk, or maybe you don't remember exactly like when you started to walk, but we've at least witnessed it where they get up on their, their two feet and they're in this position of like a wobble or like a bounce because they're excited and they're like, they're ready. They're in a position of readiness. That is where you want to be, but that is not where you need to stay because what happens when they don't move, when they don't actually start walking? They get the excitement, it dissipates, you know? They get tired, they get disenchanted, and they go and sit down. Don't let that be you. That is why I say have a substantial step at the end of those like first steps, those initial steps. Have something that's substantial, something that you cannot reverse. Like, have you seen a toddler who's learning how to walk, hands-free, start taking a step and then like reverse? No, it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. I'm not saying be irresponsible or be irrational. Be smart, but be intentional. You want to get yourself in a position where you are ready to go forward and that you are already in motion and that you can um, continue the momentum. Because that's what, you know, going back to the toddler analogy, that is what they do. They get their foot up and once they're going, they're going, like either they're going forward in ahead or forward and down but either way they're going forward and they are building confidence and with practice with time they they build up the skill and the confidence in the yeah the skill and the confidence to continue forward and continue walking and continue making more steps and more steps and more steps and that my friend is what you want to get into that is what that's the motion you want to get into and that's why i say get an actionable step get something that is like solid get that bang sometime last year i heard a quote somewhere i'm sorry i don't remember clearly but what was said stuck with me and what was said was that a good life is made up of a lot of good days and obviously our days are filled with multiple choices and i think that's really key here when you're trying to pursue a goal it's just being really intentional down to your daily choices yes we're not always going to get it right Yes, there are going to be things that happen that are outside of our control, but what we can control is what we do, what we say, and how we react, and I just thought that was key. So, there's a Bible verse that goes, be doers of the word, not hearers only. Now, religious or non-religious, I hope you can grasp the concept behind that, which is basically, in the simplest of terms, do, act, okay? I don't know how many times I have to say that in this video. But if there's nothing else you leave this video with, leave with the word act. Word of the day, act. Thou must act. So I'll go ahead and share my own experience uh, with getting into a stance of preparedness and then taking action. And this is a good example. You guys are going to love this. This video, matter of fact, this channel. Hey, new channel alert. Um, but <laughs> my first step was getting my content and ideas and stuff together, right? I want to know what I want to talk about, what, sorry, what I want to talk about, who I want to address, and, you know, stuff like that. Second step, recording multiple videos, okay? Not just one, but multiple, so that way I can really be, like, prepared for momentum, okay? I want to start and continue. I want to start off strong, and I want to continue. So, that was step two. Now, obviously, I can do those two things, and do nothing else afterwards but 
my third step, my action step, you know, that home run, uploading this video. So now I'm out there, right? I can't just erase myself. You see me because you're watching this. You see me and you can even hold me accountable. I'm going to get comments and it's coming straight to my phone. And that's a reminder. Hey, you got an audience. Hey, you need to engage. Hey, someone said something. Go check. So it's not something I can necessarily, I mean, I could delete the channel. I wouldn't do that, guys. I wouldn't do that. But that's my example. Maybe it'll give you a few ideas. So people, you have heard the message and I want you to be encouraged, but listen, listen, Linda, you can watch all the videos, you can read all the books, you can think all the think, talk all the talk, but nothing is going to come of it until you, what's that word of the day, y'all? What's the word of the day? Act. Okay, so be encouraged, but be intentional. You got to take a step. Write the book. Or read a book. Learn a skill, eat your veggies, zip up, get out there, and go. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this, make sure you give it a like. And if you want to see my next upload, hit subscribe. Later. Thank you. I love you. I love you. No more questions. Thank you. Thank you. No more questions. I love you. I love you, too. I love you, too. No more questions. Thank you.